meal of Already Dead. Today we're talking about a holster, another holster review. And today we're talking about a focus holster. Specifically the Kimber Ultra Carry 3 inch. Okay? But today I really don't want to focus in on the holster piece, right? Which is right there, but more the paddle. Okay? Um, Phobus is kind of famous for their paddle brand. I mean, a lot of people have paddle holsters, or at least they sell a lot of the paddle holsters. Uh, they display them a lot of stores have for years. And Phobus seems to be, you know, one of the ones that's kind of been on the forefront of that. And so I want to talk about it a little bit uh, today. Talk about the positive, talk about the negatives. So we'll go with positive first. Um, the price point can be a a positive it's only $33 so you know if you don't have the cash to spend on a you know a better holster than $33 it's not gonna break your bank um, but uh, you know it, it will say you get what you pay for you know any of the quality holsters that I have you know most of them are at least 60 bucks um, most of the quality holsters I have are above a hundred so you know that's Kind of an indicator right there for you, but you know, again, if you're on a budget, $33 isn't terrible. It is made of, you know, Kydex, which is nice, so that will properly cover cover the trigger guard. I'm assuming the rest of the models that use, um, you know, the paddle holster that are, you know, Kydex will cover the trigger. It does cover the trigger. I have seen this in a, um, I've seen a gun in this holster. You know, I had a gun that fits this holster. I got this on a trade, by the way. I didn't actually spend money on this holster, so you know, you know. So this is my opinion. So don't get so mad when I start getting into this stuff. You guys get butt hurt and send me all kinds of nasty YouTube comments. You know, feeling all sorry for yourselves because you spent money on a crap product. So uh, you know, don't get mad at me when I express my opinion. It's my opinion. If you don't like, you know. Go find another review or go buy it and deal with it yourself. So, anyway, that's the positive stuff that I really have to say about this holster. You know, at the, at, at the end of the day, there's not much else, okay? You can read here on their website a little bit about it. You can see that they have different mounting options, so this holster could be put somewhere else. But, you know, it, it, it doesn't have a tensioning holster or a tensioning screw, I should say. So, you know, I really don't, it says it's got an adjustment screw for more accurate retention. And unless this is a newer model, and this looks the exact same as that one right there. So unless this is an outdated photo and they have a, a newer model, there is no tensioning holster or, or screw on this holster right there. You can see those are just plastic to hold it on. Any retentioning would be done right, you know, any, any retention would be done right there. And uh, these are just uh, riveted in. So there isn't a tensioning screw on this holster, okay? And so uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's some crap, right? You know, there, there's, if I need to loosen or tighten this, I can't do it. Uh, so that sucks. Um, another thing is just the paddle design itself sucks, okay? I, I absolutely hate it. Uh, I've seen, I think Blackhawk actually has a better uh, paddle than this, which you know, if you haven't read my Blackhawk review, I think Blackhawks are mostly crap. But if you can look at this thing, it's got uh, two little teeth here, and this paddle goes inside of your pants, right? Go inside your breeches, and so this is supposed to, you know, recess inside your pants. And I guess this would be where your your belt would go, right? And so it's in your in your pants, tightened down by the belt. So this is the only thing really affixing this to your to your waist is tension, right? There's nothing that actually clips onto the belt. And so if you don't tighten your belt properly, I could definitely see, you know, especially if your gun was too tight in there, a way to pull this straight up out of your pants. Um, I've never had that happen, but you know, I don't really wear this thing. I, mean, I put it on, you know, to feel it, but I don't like that. I don't like that you can't, you know, adjust the cant. This is what it is. So when you put it on, it is one cant. There's no room to modify that if you think, hey man, I'd really like to carry it more of an angle or you know, more straight up and down. You get what you get with this holster. Switching over to a better view of me. Looked at that uh, screen long enough. So back back to this paddle thing, man. This this paddle 
you know, sucks. It's flimsy. It's not a good way to secure it into your pants. So I would just say, you know, if you're looking for a holster, this one sucks. You know, again, I got this on the trade. So I got nothing in this. I got no, you know, no beef with Phobos or whatever. But, you know, I cannot recommend this holster as something to carry. Because, again, it's flimsy. Uh, it's not adjustable in any way whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't actually secure your belt. It's outside of the waistband and you know my opinion this is modern day if you're carrying concealed you really should be carrying inside the waistband you know I don't really know that there's much of a case to carry outside of the waistband I mean you know, if you want to you know you're an adult go do your life I'm not trying to, to run it for you but for me you know if I've got this this on my hip and I want to sit down in a chair that's got an arm on it like this one does and you know I just sit kind of half, half, half casually down, it's gonna catch on that, uh, and you can't really see it, but it's gonna catch on that, right? And so what else is I gonna catch on when I'm moving around throughout the day or going around? And, you know, again, when it's outside of the waistband, it's harder to conceal, you know, with your shirts, and you gotta wear bigger, floppier shirts, and, you know, I just am not a big fan of outside the waistband carry. If I'm doing outside the waistband carry, it's probably because I'm in my hero gear back that way right and so that's for a specific purpose and you know at that point in time concealment is out the window so you know again if you're trying to conceal something you don't want other people to see it right because open carry makes you a target it's really not a smart idea so you know again if you're open carrying you know you should go get some training <laughs> so anyway I'd throw this on the trade block you know Put it in uh, the holster bucket back here behind me. It'll be great to give to somebody who needs a holster or trade it or do something like that. But, you know, I have no interest in that holster. It's not something I'm ever going to wear. You know, I mean, like, I would honestly almost rather put, uh, you know, a 3-inch 1911 in a, uh, just a full-size holster as long as the trigger covered properly and the retention was right, you know, just on a better better holster, um, which I'm probably sure I could find one of those uh, that would fit. Or just go get another holster. I don't really carry 3 inch 1911, so, you know, I'm more prone to fail. So that's just what that is. So, anyway, you know, throw it out. Go buy yourself a real holster, in my, is my opinion. I would check out, you know, as always, the things I recommend would be like MSR, um, you know, Tier 1 is a great holster. Uh, a lot of people like T-Rex Arms. I, I gave mine up for a Tier 1. Uh, I've still got the holster, but, you know, I started really carrying the Tier 1. I like that a lot better. Um, Green Force Tactical, you know, they make some good stuff. And there's there's a bunch of other ones that are great out there. But, you know, those are just some of the ones that I wear on the regular. And, um, you know, I, I, I know those people. I've met a lot of those people. Not all of them, but I've met NSR and Green Force Tactical, and they're badass. And uh, Tier 1, you know, speaks for itself. It's a fantastic product. So, uh, this is a review on them, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, again, like what I mentioned earlier is that when you buy a product, uh, I'm not saying cost is everything, right? Uh, but there is cost to quality, okay? Um, and so that's just what I've noticed, you know, that over the years, the holsters that I've carried, and I've carried a bunch of them, that the better ones start at that, you know, 60-ish dollar range, okay? I'm not saying there's not any out there that are cheaper that aren't fantastic and work well, but, you know, when I see a holster for $33, I've got to really start inspecting it. As you look at this one, you know, there's just not the things that you would want, uh, you know, as far as reliability and comfort and securement go um, in a holster. So, take that for what it is. Anyway, Thanks for watching the video. Hope this has been helpful to you to save money and you know make a decision on what you're going to do uh, to carry your um, blaster around with you wherever you go. You can check out some of my other videos that are on this channel to see some other holster ideas, and you know hopefully that'll help you out as well. So check those out. Um, if you are interested in what I'm doing, you know I've got a bunch of videos that I just ramble on and talk about all kinds of fun stuff and. Uh, you know, you can get my opinions if you care to hear them. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram because that's the only legacy media that I'm still on just because it's easy. Um, and then I'm on Float and that's my favorite. 
So they're cool. It's a free speech platform. And then I'm on MeWe, which I get on sometimes, but not a ton. So, and obviously here on ScrewTube. So, uh, also I have an Odyssey channel, channel. I just hadn't updated it. Once I get to 300 um, subscribers here on the YouTube, then it will start auto posting to an Odyssey channel. So I'm going to wait for that because honestly it's a big pain in my butt to upload everything twice. And so I'm just not gonna do it. So there's that. So check me out on those spaces. And then as always, stay civilized.